Searching for a new home can be an overwhelming process. Where you want to live impacts what opportunities are available to you and your family, such as commuting for a job, what schools your children attend, and neighborhood safety. Housing discrimination can throw additional roadblocks into the process and may prevent people from accessing the homes and communities of their choice. The Fair Housing Act is a federal law that prohibits discrimination in housing based on race, color, sex, religion, national origin, disability, and familial status. This video is related to familial status discrimination, how it is defined by law, what discrimination might look like, and what steps you can take if you have faced discrimination. The Fair Housing Act protects families from housing discrimination. Families are defined to include any person under 18 living with a parent or person with legal custody, pregnant women, and people in the process of adopting. Examples of actions that would violate the Fair Housing Act include steering families away from certain units or parts of their property. I love this view. My kids will love it too. Sorry, but we have a policy against renting these tough floor units to families with young kids because of safety issues. Restricting children from using certain facilities or services. A landlord can, however, have restrictions regarding safety to comply with local ordinances. Having restrictions on children's belongings. Setting curfew rules for children where there is no documented evidence of a legitimate safety concern. You know the rules. All kids under 18 have to be inside after 9 p.m. Head home. Implementing rules about noise that target children. Please initial here that you understand our policy on noise. It says there is to be no loud or boisterous activity on the premises, no loud music, no vehicles with loud exhaust systems, and no noisy children. Placing unreasonable restrictions on the number of people who can reside in a rental unit. I'm sorry, but this is only a three bedroom unit. There really isn't enough space for four kids. Under the Fair Housing Act, owners and managers can develop reasonable limits on the number of people who can live in a rental unit, but that limit should not be less than two people per bedroom and must take into account other factors like the size and layout of the home. A landlord refusing to rent to a family because they have children. This is a quiet complex, mostly seniors. So our rentals are adults only. Some landlords may try to refuse to rent to families with children by claiming they are senior or adult housing. Only properties that comply with all of the requirements and verification rules of the Housing for Older Persons Act can limit rentals to people age 55 and older. Homeowners Association rules that prevent the same use and enjoyment of a common area for a child. Housing discrimination can rob people of the dreams and aspirations they have for their families by denying them the housing of their choice. If you believe you have experienced housing discrimination, you can file a complaint with the Department of Housing and Urban Development by calling 1-800-669-9777 or 1-800-927-9275 for TTY or by visiting HUD.gov. Complaints can be filed in any language because there are time limits from when an incident happens to when complaints can be filed, you should submit yours as soon as possible. HUD will investigate your claim, and if they find there was discrimination, they will either issue a conciliation agreement, a voluntary compliance agreement, or will take legal action to enforce fair housing law. You should know that it is illegal for someone to retaliate against you for making a complaint or participating in HUD's complaint process. If you are an Idaho resident and have fair housing questions, you can speak to an attorney for free by calling Idaho Legal Aid at 1-844-804-0386.
For more information about the Fair Housing Act, visit HUD.gov or IdahoLegalAid.org.